Hello YouTube, today at uh, powerjackrepair.org we got a motherboard from Lenovo ThinkPad S1 Yoga 12.5 inch screen. Uh, this is from one of our unhappy clients because uh, when I desoldered this connector I realized that I don't have that any of those left. I usually buy about three or four of those to be in stock and I just uh, usually we just get them out of here the same day so we receive them today it's out of here pretty much tomorrow and I finally was able to get the part again uh, not one but I got usually three or four of those again so not really popular model but uh, the part itself is really expensive so um, this is the old one that I desoldered using the hot air alone, you see? Hot air melted the plastic as well. Let's uh, check and see the connection. Anyways, how to desolder those, you could uh, see we got 1000 plus uh, videos on this channel uh, desoldering those connectors. I know for sure that we have one of those um, videos from S1 from before. But back then there wasn't uh, connectors like that available. Back then I had to just remove the whole thing and just try to install this connector right here that would come from a different Innova model, work it into this area right here and just hot glue on top. Nowadays, nowadays we can add some light. All right, so it wouldn't be as depressive. Now that's too much light. Try this, yeah, like that. And uh, nowadays uh, what we can do is we have an exact replacement connections available already uh, with the docking port and if we desolder properly the connection here we should be able to put this guy in there. I haven't checked it under the microscope but let's check under the microscope to make sure every single hole right here is nice and empty and uh, if they're all empty we can slide this guy in directly like that. So let's go under the microscope. Alrighty so under the microscope we can see that uh, some of them have some stuff inside but for the most part on the top they are all nice and clear we got some all right let's switch like that all right so let's see if all of those are just uh, remaining of flux if it's just flux that remains in there you should be golden and that's flux that's flux and that's the remains of the old flux yep and this is all good yeah so my desoldering skills are still on the level yeah, I just want to make sure that every single one of those is nice and empty yeah good a little bit here left but I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine all right so let's position the new connector in place like that hopefully it all goes in it's going fully yep looks good all right so while it's in the up position let's power up the hot air station all right so let's add some Some flux right here, some flux right there, right there, right there. Because the most important part is for the pluses and minuses to work in here. So we're gonna just add some, we're just gonna add some solder right here. All right, and some solder right there.
All right, well, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this guy over. Just wanna make sure that it's all nice and straight. And I will, we will solder this leg a little bit later. Let's solder the legs right now. And I'm missing my supporting piece right here. Okay. Oh. Already, I'm not that happy with the way how things move because that piece right there probably gonna have a. I wanted to move it slightly backwards. Just rotate this piece a little bit inwards. You see, so it would be nice and straight along with those lines. All right, now it's nice and straight. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a bunch of plugs like that and like that. All righty. Okay. All right. And all right, good job. Excellent. Good job. And now we just have to solder every one of those guys. Alrighty, now let's take a look under the microscope. Alrighty, so under the microscope we see that a couple of those guys are not extremely well soldered. So we're gonna be touching it up with the slightly finer tip. Let's add some solder to the finer tip. Alrighty, this one, that one, this one. Alrighty.
think I need to add a little bit more solder to some of those joints. Let's add a little bit more solder to this guy right here. That guy right there. This guy right there. And... All right, so relatively good, looks good to me. All right, let's flip this guy over and see what we got on the other side. All right, so you see all of those connections are soldered through on the top as well. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's clean up the motherboard, the mess that we left right here. All right, and it should be working just fine. All righty, guys, if the video was useful, please uh, leave a like, subscribe. I will let you know which laptop models, makes and models I would spend my money on in the future. Maybe going to make a video once a year and let you know which laptop makes and models I would never spend my money on. All right, so this is all neck and shiny. Better than you. Better than new. Let's clean up this area as well. All right. And okay, looks good to me. Yep. Excellent. Let me see if I damage this guy. Nope, this plastic piece is not damaged right here. When I was taking off this guy with hot air. You know what? I see that this guy still needs a little bit more love right here. Uh, it's just optical illusion, it's all good. Good job. Well, let me put a bigger iron right there. All righty. It just, it seems like it's the flux that looks like that, yeah. Yeah, it just remains a flux. Alrighty, so let's test and make sure that the current is going to go through. And we take the negative and the negative. Okay. Uh, French. Okay. This is definitely not something I'm proud of, but that's the thing that should work. All right. So we got negatives fine. Positives fine. And the data signal is fine. Really important to have the data signal. This guy. If you mess up the data signal, it's never even going to recognize the power supply. And it's always going to tell you this middle one. It's always going to tell you that. You know what? Connect a 
genuine Dell power supply simply because that center pin is damaged the trace right there if you damage the trace then you sometimes cannot uh, charge this thing really thin uh, motherboard so make sure you're not gonna bend it like it's bent right here the reason it's slightly bent because the box in which we received it was pretty much a small and the board was kind of packed in and kind of jammed in so hopefully the board gonna work because um, yeah so if you're shipping us this kind of motherboard make sure it's in a bigger box at least like that all right don't bend it don't shove it package it yourself because people at the packaging facilities might not handle the motherboard correctly thank you so much for watching please leave a like subscribe and you guys take care and have a good day thank you bye